Hello, everybody. Josh Neighbors here, Locked On Big 12 Podcast. Quick review of the Big 12 Championship game tonight is coming up here. Uh, Kansas takes out Texas Tech in the final and wins the Big 12 tournament by a score of 74 to 65. My thoughts on that coming up. Today's show brought to you by Run Your Pool and RunYourPool.com. Breakdown coming up. Some thoughts about uh, Selection Sunday here coming up as well. Hope you guys enjoy. You are Locked On Big 12, your daily podcast on the Big 12 Conference, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello, everybody. Josh Neighbors here, Locked On Big 12 Podcast. So we have we reached it. We're there. The end of the Big 12 basketball season for the year 2022, 2021, 2022. Um, Kansas takes out Texas Tech 74 65 in the Big 12 championship game. I'm going to give you guys my big takeaways. Number one is that David McCormick, this was the David McCormick that we have wanted to see all season long tonight. Uh, for him, he led the way for KU, 18 points on 5 of 10 shooting, 8 of 9 from the line, 11 rebounds as well. And so they fed him from the get-go. They made a point of getting this man the basketball. It was just pretty clear that the plan was to get Dave McCormick involved, get him the ball, get him going early and often in this contest. And I thought that was key because – while Bryson Williams is a first-team All-Big 12 player, he's kind of a stretch five. And my big concern for KU this year is has been how would he, how are you going to do against against teams like Bay, uh, excuse me, like uh, you know Gonzaga, uh, like Purdue, like uh, Auburn, like Kentucky, who've got traditional big guys, uh, you know, they can really hit you inside. And so my question is that you know tonight, c- can they do this again against those? really good teams with traditional, very good big men. And I, I think that's still a question we have not answered. But the fact that they made that a point tonight, I wanted to see it throughout the tournament, made me very happy. Number two, Remy Martin. He had a great game tonight. 12 points, four of nine shooting, two of six and three, not great, but four assists and three steals. Uh, the fact that a former All-American is, is reassimilating himself by coming off the bench is a great sign for KU. This is exactly what they want to see in this game, uh, or you know, from from uh, you know from Remy Martin at this point. And once again, my question for KU heading this this Big Twelve tournament was: Can you be the version of Kansas that we want to see here? I want to see all the guys getting involved. I want to see bench guys playing well. I want to see McGormick getting touches because I've said it from the beginning: This Kansas team has the best shot of any Big 12 team at full capacity to win a national title. In the last three days, and even the last four games, you could say that overtime win against Texas, they've established everything I've wanted to see with McCormick, with Oshai, and, and Christian Brown. Joe Wilson's had some nice performances, and the guys at the bench as well, too. But Remy Martin was a big cog in that wheel. The third thing, we saw a great game. We just wanted to see a great game. This is a rubber match. This was a back-and-forth affair all the way for the first half. Texas Tech is not at 100% capacity right now. Kevin McCullough started but was still 3-for-10. He was not all the way back and 100% where they want him to be and where he needs to be. But still, he was there. And this was a fun back-and-forth affair, and I did not lose faith or stock or whatever in either of these teams while watching it. That, that's a huge thing is that both these teams prove their worth. Kansas, which is point number four here, the, the Big 12 is getting two one seeds with Kentucky out of the mix, with Auburn out of the mix. Purdue's got a shot right there, but it feels like it's going to be right now. And, and Arizona might lose tonight too. I've, I've you know uh, recorded right now that game's about to start between UCLA and Arizona. Gonzaga, Kansas are your one seeds right now. Arizona's got a shot. Baylor's right there. Auburn and Kentucky probably out of the mix now. So, you know, this looks like a one seed versus a two or three seed, and, and we're in good position as a conference uh, right now with the, with the way things are going to be seeded. Six teams most likely, right? Texas Tech, 
uh, you know, Kansas is going to be one seed. Baylor's going to be one or two. Texas Tech, make case for a two, probably going to end up as a three, which is, is not a big deal at all. So I think Texas Tech might definitely end up as a, as a three seed. But still, make case for them as, as, as a two seed at this moment in time. Um, you know, and then obviously Iowa State and TCU and Texas are the other three teams. We'll see that where they get seated right now. I've seen Iowa State at last four buys, or if you guys want to put them. Um, and then Oklahoma's last team. Now, AM and Virginia Tech have put forth good performances to where you could really make an argument for either of those teams. And right now, Virginia Tech is down three against Duke, and uh, AM's got a game against Tennessee tomorrow. For the Big Twelve, oh, excuse me, the SEC championship game, so things could shift. But OU looks like a tournament team, even without Elijah Harkless. We'll see what happens. I'm going to bank on six at this moment in time. I think I think it's where we're going to sit. But there is a strong argument for seven. Th- this tournament was a great accounting of the conference. In fact, TCU upsets Texas, gets to round two. Uh, you know, make sure Texas not get a three game sweep of them. KU looks as good as they did. Texas Tech was able to get there and, and fight their way, even though they're not 100%. 100% uh, you know, most teams aren't at this point in time. And then also Oklahoma fighting their way, and we're almost a Jalen Hill, you know, missed call away from being right in that game. So there's so much to be positive about this conference right now. Uh, this was an awesome game. I so much enjoyed the first half of this game, the back and forth nature. KU pulls away later on in the second half, but still, Texas Tech changed some leads as well. Bryce Williams played well. Uh, love the way that he played. Love the fact that Kansas once again fed David McCormick. Oshai Abaji got his. I feel like he every single shot he hit was a big shot. Uh, and it felt like it was exposing every missed Texas Tech closeout that there was in this game. So this game delivered. Uh, this this tournament delivered in all fronts. And this conference still definitely a top. I mean, you think about what we asked for coming in, right? You're going to see Purdue play Indiana tomorrow in the Big 12 title and tournament where Ohio State and, and, uh, and Illinois got knocked out pretty early to get, you know, in, in the early rounds. We saw a five versus a nine today. Uh, Wisconsin got KO'd by Michigan State in that tournament. It's so like, you know, the, the top teams didn't deliver. Uh, Baylor's got seven players. That's why, that's why they didn't deliver against Oklahoma. So, you know, this tournament gave us the one Kansas who fulfilled their potential, basically, against Texas Tech, who, you know, gave us a damn good fight, not at 100%. Like, this tournament gave us what we wanted. And uh, the Pac-12 is the only one right now that's delivering on that kind of scale with, you know, top seeds making what we want to see. So uh, this conference really gave us what we wanted to see in this tournament. KU brings it home, deserving team. They gave us what we wanted to see in in, in the finals, and uh, Kansas seventy four sixty five. We're gonna have a special tomorrow on Selection Sunday, and a breakdown all the news, all the action that we see where the Big Twelve's Big Twelve teams are seated, where they go from here. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Neighbors underscore. Make sure you guys follow the show at Lo Big Twelve. Subscribe on YouTube and also. Find us wherever you guys get your podcasts. Till next time, my friends, as always, stay safe.